It's the slam dunk. I want to look at the not so warm welcome you get from Auckland Council if they think you've broken a little rule in their rule book. And I got to say, could Auckland Council please be a little bit more hospitable? They couldn't be any more inhospitable. This is not so much about the council, but some of the quite frankly little Nazi pricks who have no idea about how to read the room and the way they enforce some of the rules. These ridiculous uptight anal rules. If you want to kill a city and people's enjoyment and people's free time and commit to making it a better city, then look no further than some of the Gestapos who rule the city streets with an iron fist. Well, last night I said, fuck you. You're going to have to arrest me and drag me out of here. I'm fed up. I'm fed up with you killing the fun and stomping all over people's recreational activities, which are harming nobody at all. So, I took my electric motorbike, which is classed as a scooter, down to the city wharf, which houses that big cloud building, okay? It was a well-known fishing spot in front of it, and I drove to the end on my scooter. Jumped off the bike, and I threw my rod in. About five others were there. It was a beautiful evening. Then, an uptight security guard approaches me and says... You can't park there. No vehicles. I said, it's a damn scooter. It's in no one's way. And I'm using it as a seat, as I do for 30 minutes when I do this fishing. No one's offended by the bike. It's not in anyone's way. And it's 11 o'clock at night. I say, what's the bloody problem? I saw no sign. There's no warning, no nothing. I'm fed up with this, mate. He said, the watchtower saw me arrive on camera, and they say you must remove it. I said, tell him to come down and let's discuss it. He was adamant. I said, you're going to have to arrest me. Get the cops and take me away, uh, because I'm doing 30 minutes of fishing, sitting on my bike here. That's what I did. You can't get cops for a home invasion. I can't see how they're going to turn up and take this thing seriously. They never showed up, and the guard never came back as I stood my ground. I don't want to come across like a prick, but it's happened before, um, before Christmas as well. I was launching my boat, my little blow-up boat, on an empty public jetty at West Haven when a woman in council clothing came shooting down in her fancy ratepayer council car and said, that's for dragon boats, go on the ramp. I said, you guys always turn up to tell people off, but you're never there when we need you. She says, yes, we are. And anyway, so I said, no, I'm going to put it down here. She said, no, you're not. And her attitude was really aggro. She demanded I move, so I moved 20 metres to a rocky ramp rather than use this nice, easy-to-use jetty, which no one was using. She then denied working for council despite being in a council car and council clothes. I mean, this is a joke. In the end, she forced me to leave an empty jetty for an empty ramp. You want to kill this town, lady? Keep doing what you're doing. I mean, just give us a break. Leave us alone. We're not offending anyone. Now I see good volunteers uh, in Long Bay who are helping clean up Long Bay, Auckland's North Shore, have had their pop-up toy library with all sorts of discoveries from the beach, which are put in a box with a small sign that says toy library, help yourself. They've had that removed by council officers because it's called a non-compliant sign. Really? A sign saying toy library? It's an honesty box. Whoever hired these total idiots may wish to now review their employment. But it's likely that this is a systemic culture problem of overzealous box-ticking clowns, life's losers who have finally got a job with a badge and a shirt and they're going to use their powers. Come hell or high water, they never see the bigger picture, these people. People who give their time for free to clean up the beach are treated like nincompoops. It's called recycling, actually. People need to live in the city, and the council needs to start reading the room a bit better and stop being so heavy-handed, because what you'll do is you'll force people to work against you, or even worse, they'll walk away from the city completely. We all have a stake in the city. As it stands, the city's a dog. The downtown is an international embarrassment with a mix of undesirables the council does nothing about. But they're quick to jump all over you. Prefer to target good citizens with over-the-top enforcement of stupid, uptight rules that threaten the very nature of the city. They threaten to strangle the city. See the big picture. The reason why the CBD is dead and unsafe and unattractive is because good people stay away. If you filled it with good people, it'll be okay. And they can't be bothered turning up. And Auckland Council officers need to look at the way they interpret the rules and interpret situations and see it for what it is. But stop killing the most basic of activities. Kiwis have had enough of being strangled by rules and councils. So it's time we challenge the ones that make no sense at all, and I certainly intend to. Good luck.